are you tired of seeing conjunction videos in YouTube? You have this conjunction, that conjunction, but none of it seems to work. Well, that's exactly what we are going to discuss today is why conjunctions don't work, but when they work and if they work, five such conjunctions which can give you massive wealth, but with real-time examples, not just, you know, fancy theory, oh yeah, it is a nice conjunction. <laughs> What's the proof that it's nice? All right, we'll discuss with proofs. So, which is the first conjunction? But before that, as I said, when does it work? So, if you see conjunctions, conjunctions are seen from the Lagna chart in the astrology domain. So, your Rashi chart in that if there are two planets in the same sign, then that's like a conjunction. But, if the same conjunction is not there in your date of birth, which is in your numerology, it may not give you the best results. So, what do I mean by that? So, for example, if you have a conjunction like uh, Jupiter-Venus, okay? So, if you read Jupiter-Venus, they'll say, oh, it's great, blah, 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 it's fantastic, this, that. But if you do not have the number 3 and number 6, 3 is Jupiter in numerology and 6 is Venus in numerology. If you don't have these two numbers, then uh, if you have it in astrology, it's of not much great use, okay? Now, the question is, how can you have 3 or 6 or any number in numerology, okay? Because today we'll discuss both astrology and numerology. So, for example, in your date of birth, if you have the number 3 in your day or month or the last two digits of the year. So, for example, you are born on a third of any month or you are born in March or you are born in, you know, 1973, 1983, 1993, 2003, like this, um, because you will not be born in the 1930s. <laughs> I, I don't know if somebody is born in 1930s and is still watching. Or your basic number is 3, which means you are either born on 3rd, 21st, or 30th, or 12th. Okay, and then also it is 3. Or you add your DOB, then it comes to 6. Okay. <laughs> Uh, sorry, it comes to 3. So, the same rule will be applicable for 6. So, for example, you are born on 6th, 15th or 24th no, or uh, you are born in June or, you know, 1976, 66, uh, 96, 86, whatever, 2006 or your total date of birth is 6, okay? Now, in this, it's important you don't take the first two digits of the year, okay? So, for example, if I say uh, 1 and 9. Now, everybody watching this video, most of the people will have 1 and 9 because most of the people will be born, I'm sure they are born in the 1900s, but the first two digits we don't consider. But when we add the date of birth, we can find the destiny number. Then we uh, use these two numbers, right? So, therefore, what is the first conjunction that you should see in astrology and in numerology that can give you very good wealth and name, fame, power, position? It is Sun-Mars conjunction, which is the conjunction of the number 1 and number 9 in numerology okay? and in astrology. But provided both of them are in good dignity also in your horoscope. So, three conditions. So, in numerology, it should be there. You should have the number 1 and 9 again, except the first two numbers of the year. 1 and 9 should be there somewhere or your basic number should be 1 and 9 should be somewhere or your basic or destiny should be 1 or 9 and the other should be somewhere, all right? So, for example, 1st September or 9th January, something like this, okay? <laughs> or suppose, you know, it's uh, 27th January, then also it could be like, you know, 28th September, then also your basic number is 1. <laughs> or you're born in 1991, all right? Or 1919, yeah, because then 1 and 9 is there. Or as I said, you add and you get 1 or 9. So, if both these numbers are there and in astrology, these two are conjunct in your chart and they are in very good dignity, then this can give you great wealth, name, fame, power, position and authority. Okay. Now, I will not go into astrology, but today, if, I, if you only talk of numerology, you will see this combination is there in many personalities. Okay. So, for example... Uh, Indian Prime Minister uh, Modi ji, uh, he has this conjunction in numerology. Okay, <clears throat> he does not have this in astrology, but he has this in numerology. But if you have this in both astrology and numerology, and if you have this uh, astrologically in a great dignity, then 
mind blowing. This is mind boggling. Okay, it's just, it's just brilliant. This is so. This conjunction will grant you massive power, name, fame, authority. It will give you uh, great visionary skills, leadership, and you just name it. It's there. Okay, so therefore, this is one of the best combinations which can be there for politics and uh, leadership, authority, uh, rulership in general. All right, I think leader of opposition Rahul Gandhi he also has this in his uh, date of birth at least, if not in astrology. So the Prime Minister and Leader of Opposition both have this combination in numerology. So you can just imagine if this was also there in their astrology, how powerful it would have been. All right. So now, what is the second uh, combination? The second combination is Mars-Mercury conjunction, which is also the combination of number 9 and number 5 in numerology. Okay. So if you have 9 and 5, as per all the rules that we discussed, and you have Mars, Mercury conjunct in the horoscope and in good dignity. Oh boy, this is a fabulous conjunction. Okay, So, this conjunction in, I can give you lots of examples in numerology. This conjunction makes a person very eloquent, very smart, very intelligent, can, you know, you can talk with them on various topics. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, you'll never get bored with these people. They are always full of ideas. So, I can give you four examples in numerology. So, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has this. Uh, Dr. S. Jay Shankar, who is the Foreign Minister, uh, External Affairs Minister of uh, India currently, he has this. Then ex-Prime Minister uh, Manmohan Singh Ji has this. Then Dr. Shashi Tharoor, a very eloquent speaker of the Congress Party and a MP from Trivandrum, I guess. <laughs> he also has this. And these people, you know, they're known for their finance, finances, their speech, eloquence, and, you know, like Dr. S. J. Shankar, you know, you ask a question and you get a straight answer. <laughs> All right, so fantastic combination. Imagine if this is also there in their uh, horoscope, how beautiful it is. But in normal people, you will always find this, you know, uh, that you, they will have this in their date of birth and also in their horoscope. Okay, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. This, you can speak for like 100 hours if you have this combination, okay? I think, yes, uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose also has this 9 and 5. Extraordinary combination this is, okay. So, number 3 is very important. This is the number 7 and the number 5. So, 7 in numerology is Ketu and 5 as you know is Mercury. So, Ketu-Mercury conjunction, again, no, it, it makes a person extremely lucky when it comes to money. Why? Think, think, think. Because... 7 in numerology is the number of luck and in astrology 7 is Ketu, right? So, what I mean planetary wise it's Ketu in, in numerology. So, what is Ketu? Ketu represents things that you have already done in your previous lifetime. So, when you have Mercury and Ketu and you have 7 and 5 in, in numerology, then you are exceptionally good in making money. Exceptionally good. And because of this, what happens is you 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 are naturally you you are naturally drawn towards money. You naturally know from where you will get money, how you can make money. So some examples are Prime Minister Modi again, then President Vladimir Putin again, then uh, Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan, oh, I mean Akshay Kumar, Shilpa Shetty, Karishma Kapoor. All almost every film star will have this combination. 7 and 5. Okay, very, very, very brilliant combination. I mean, in the numerology, they have it. Maybe some of them also have in astrology, but I've seen like so many charts. Along with 7 and 5, if you also have in your horoscope the conjunction of Mercury and Ketu, you, I mean, making money is, uh, it's like a cakewalk for you. <laughs> All right, so. Of course, the more the numbers you have, the better it is. You know, if you have 1 and 9, you have 7 and 5, you have 9 and 5, then also, I mean, these are very brilliant combinations, right? And I think uh, Prime Minister Modi has all these numbers, 1, 9, 7, 5. So, no wonder he's the third, uh, he's the Prime Minister for the third term, only after Pandit Nehru, right? So, brilliant, brilliant date of birth and brilliant people with these numbers, okay? And then, what is the next combination? The next combination, this is a very brilliant combination. If you have this, you are very lucky, but 
you need to have this in numerology. It's more important to have this in numerology than in astrology. It is in astrology, it's the com combination of your Lagna Lord and Saturn in good dignity in the chart. But in your numerology, you should have even number of eights. Okay. Even number of eight means you are born on eighth uh, of August or uh, you are born on eighth August 1988. <laughs> All right. So the same rules will apply. Either you, you you have like suppose you have uh three eights. So for example, you are born on eighth uh, August 1980 something. Okay. But then you add your date of birth again. You get eight. So there are four eights. Okay. So if eight is there in even numbers, don't just see the eight. Also calculate your basic and destiny. Okay, that is where the com comment section will be flooded. Oh, I have these, that, you know, what's going to happen. No, please do some work, my dear sir, my dear madam. Please calculate the number of eights that you have. Okay, see the number of eights and also calculate your basic number and destiny number. And that is how you get the number of eight. So if it is even two eights, four eights or six eights, six eight is very rare, maybe not. <laughs> But you can have two or up to four eights, okay? And in the horoscope, if you have a, a Lagna Lord and Saturn, conjunct, then brilliant, 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 brilliant. Then this will take you towards real estate. And can you guess who has this? Well, uh, ex-Prime Minister of UK, Rishi Sunak, he has this, who recently uh, lost the election, but he became uh, the Prime Minister of such a important country you know they, they need to have these numbers then the great real estate uh tycoon niranjan hiranandani he also has this he has two eights okay so if eight is there in even it's great if it is there in odd uh, not the best you know it shows struggles in life okay but nonetheless i wanted to tell you why conjunctions don't work only if they are in astrology all right so also check the numerology and then by that you will know and there are some indications in your palm also but I guess then the video will be very long. So we'll discuss it some other time. <laughs> All right. So you will see that these combinations are present in, you know, many people. And another one last combination, which is very important, is Mercury-Venus conjunction. Okay. Now you may think, oh, Mercury-Venus are together in many people, you know. Why, why does it not work? But, 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 but. In numerology, you need to have the number six and the number five. Okay. Six is Venus, five is Mercury. So again, all the rules will apply for 6 and 5. Don't just say, oh, I, I don't have 6 and 5. You know, maybe your basic number is 6 or 5 and your destiny may be 6 or 5. Okay, so the, the same rules will apply. So please, please analyze your date of birth. Now, if you if you have this, then you can make money from showbiz. Okay, along with astrology and in good dignity. Or even if you don't, if you have a numerology and you don't have an astrology, but if you have a well-placed Venus along with this 6-5 or a well-placed Mercury, it could still work. Like uh, Shah Rukh Khan, uh, Salman Khan, uh, Akshay Kumar, Karishma Kapoor, Shitpa Shetty, all these people, you know, Abhishek Bachchan, they have this 6 and 5 uh, in their uh, numerology. And Shah Rukh Khan, as you know, he also has Venus in 5, right? So therefore, uh, if you have these two combinations in your astrology, and in your numerology also, you you are a born star basically, right? But of course, it will depend on your dashas and you know what is going on in the chart. You know what kind of dashas do you get when you are in your twenties? You know because maybe you are getting this great dasha which is coming, but only in your sixties. Then you may not have a grand life till your sixties. Okay, but nonetheless, now you need to understand that. Uh, these combinations should be studied together with astrology and numerology and the more you have the call the better it is okay so i'm sure you look at great personalities charts and their date of births and you will find many with these numbers okay? and in astrology also all right so now if somebody you know somebody has only one of this then great not, not nothing wrong one or two but if you have two or three or more Wow, you are really blessed, okay? And in astrology also, if you have them, uh, apart from numerology, it, it's just brilliant, all right? So, you're very lucky. Use your fortune for doing good to yourself and to others, all right? Thank you so much for your patience. I hope you like this video and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And for personalized consultations, 
please go to my website which you will find down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure irrespective of what is your date of birth or your lagna your rising sign your moon sign all right thank you